In this video, I'm going to show you how you solve a problem where the, um, a projectile leaves the ground at an angle. Okay? So in this one, Red Elk hits this golf ball and it leaves with a speed of 41.3 meters per second at an angle of 28.2 degrees, right? And we want to know the time in the air, horizontal distance it goes before it strikes the ground or the range of it, right? Um, and what is the speed at the highest point on the ball's trajectory and what is the greatest height? Okay, so what's going to happen here is that uh, you know, there's the ground, right? Red Elk is going to launch this thing with some initial velocity here, right? So that's 41.3, right? And then this angle here is 78 degrees, 78.2 degrees. Looks like we have a couple sig, three sig figs there, right? Okay. Um, the first thing you have to do with this is we can't do anything with this angle magnitude vector until we find its components here. Okay, so I'm going to break this into two components. This side here is going to be 41.3 times the sine of 78.2 degrees. Okay, because this is the opposite side, so I'm just doing SOHCAHTOA. This side here is going to be 41.3 times the cosine of 78.2 degrees. Okay, so let's bust that out on the calculator here. 41.3 cos 78.2 okay and 41.3 sine 78.2 okay so I'm getting for this guy, for the, for the um, the horizontal velocity, I get that to be 8.44, I'll say 8.4457, okay, meters per second, 78.2, yeah, that's right, okay, so I get uh, 8.4457 meters per second, okay, and then for the sine, I get 40.4272. Now notice that I'm carrying like one, two, three, four, five sig figs here. We've got three sig figs here. Okay, if I carry five, I should be good. Okay, so that's the velocities like that. Let's just make sure I'm in. Yeah, I'm in degrees. Okay, <laughs> that'd be bad, right? Okay, and now I'm all set. Now we can just set this thing up here, horizontal and vertical. Okay, uh, displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and time. Okay, and these velocities here become our initial velocities. This is our horizontal initial velocity. And because the acceleration is zero, it's also our final velocity. The whole time it's in the air, its velocity is 8.4457 meters per second. Okay? And then the initial vertical velocity is 40. 0.4272 meters per second. Okay, and the acceleration is definitely negative 9.81. Okay, the actual displacement, this thing's going to go up and down like that, right? The actual vertical change in position is zero, right? I'm going to use this fact though. Okay, that when it hits the ground, it's going to be going down at 40.4. 272 meters per second. Okay? That's what I'm going to use. And now we're set. We know like everything except time. Uh, there's two ways to find the time. You could use ut plus 1 fat squared, but I'm going to choose this guy. v equals u plus at. Okay? Here's my initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration in meters per second squared, right? Okay? So that's just going to be that times 2 divided by 9.81. Okay, so this thing's going to be in the air for 8.2420 seconds, right? Remember that once you get the time on this side, you can kind of slide it over there. It's going to stop moving horizontally when it hits the ground, right? Okay, so let's, uh, we can put that guy here, 8.2420 seconds, right? Okay, and then now we can find our displacement here. The only thing that you ever do is S equals U. T horizontally, right? 
So I'm all set here. I can figure out um, the uh, the displacement here by multiplying this guy by this guy, right? So it's going to be 8.4457 times 8.2420 seconds. Okay. So 8.4457 times 8.2420 and I get that it goes 69.609 meters okay so now we've answered some of these questions what time is the ball in the air it's in the air for about 8.2 seconds actually 8.24 seconds okay with um, with sig figs with three sig figs right um, and then what is the horizontal distance it travels before hitting the ground? It's about 69.6 meters, right? Okay. And then the final question here is, is sort of tricky. It says, what's the speed at the highest point on the ball's trajectory? And what is the greatest height? Okay. Well, at the highest point, the vertical velocity is zero. So it has only a horizontal velocity. So the speed at the highest point is this guy. Right? It's just our 8.4457. At the highest point, it's moving purely horizontally, and the horizontal velocity is always that, right? Now, to figure out the highest height, the greatest height that it gets, we need to do another suvat. We'll just go from the ground to the top. Right? I'm going to use the initial velocity to be this 40.4272. At the top, the velocity is zero, and the acceleration is negative 9.81. And I can use uh, v squared is u squared plus 2as to find the height. So let's do that. 40.4272 squared divided by 2 divided by 9.81. I'm getting 83.3 meters. as the greatest height. So at the top it's moving 8.4 meters per second to the side and it's 83.3 meters in the air. Okay, whoops. <laughs> at the top it's moving 8.4 meters to the, uh, per second to the side, right? And it's 83.3 uh, meters in the air. Okay, so um, that's all there is to it. So when they give you an angle magnitude vector to begin with, break it into components. Those become your initial velocities right and then you got to figure out what it is if it's a level field like this you're going to hit the ground with the same velocity that you started going up with right and then you can figure out the time and the time goes across okay